Good morning, good morning. This is C. Fernald again with uh, Celestial Watchers or Curiosity and Discovery Channel 2023 on YouTube. So go visit that. Anyways, what I'm showing you here, and I'm already doing it, is I'm forensicing these UFO pictures that I spotted. And people think it's real. So I said, well, I thought it was real too. So I said, okay, let's look at the cloning. Cloning will show you what looks exactly like the other thing. So I just kind of go through this um, on my forensic tool. And I 5 k this picture quite a bit. I've increased it tremendously so I can really see what's there. I want to see the color, the depth, the, I want to see the noise. But as these cloning devices, it shows you if there's other objects in the sky. Now, those objects are really in the sky over there. You see these little specks that's picking out. Those are different objects that are not seen by your eye, but they're there. Okay, just remember they're there. Now, what you're looking at here is a real sky, I believe. Um, you know, my video says, you know, fake UFOs, right? Well, let me just show you. Don't get all critical and go comment and run away. If this is your picture, your name's not on it, I'm not trying to debunk you. You might have shared it from somebody else. I keep that in consideration that you guys share other people's stuff. I'm not trying to call nobody out, all right? I'm just trying to show you something that's just mind-blowing. So I'm thinking is, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, showed you some really cloudy-looking UFOs. One was in a storm, and I saw another one that somebody else sent in of a turning, you know, cloud. But this right here, see all these objects are exactly... They're actually exactly the same objects. And at first I'm saying, this, this, they look fake. They look fake. So what, just what should I do? I'm here, get to work. Grab a coffee, all right? Pause the video, grab a coffee, and I'll be back. I'm gonna get me a coffee. So I'm still in my cloning device, and as you can see, I've really separated that these are all looking like overlays or clones. Um, and what I discover, which is a new a new part of my tool, it, it kind of gives you the geo meta tags and where it's been, what it's done, where it came from. So I'll show you that too. Keep watching. This is very interesting. I want to show you the... Um, Luminous Grantis, which is like a topical map, I call it. I'm going to show you. Just You'll see the names of them. Uh, a noise analyst is very important. Luminous, very important. This is a principle. And look how these objects, I'm going to really show them to you. Just watch. I'll be quiet here and you just drink your coffee and watch. These, I believe, I'm going to say it now, are fake UFOs. There's a couple things out there that are like clones that I think they're actually UFOs. I don't know. But as I look through this, it's pretty like it's all about pictorial stuff. So keep watching to the end. So you're going to start noticing things are boxed in in squares. And I believe the original clone that they cut was out of a square shape instead of 
there's clones you can cut out of right up next to the object so you can still make the difference but the square around it gives a for ever looked at the meta tags and uh, geo tags it totally gave it away from me but i wanted to see as i was investigating it i wanted you to see it so keep watching you'll see that little square object is like an envelope You can see some strange markers. <clears throat> Notice that each one of these um, these circles are um, separate, look the same. Check out the meta tag, the string extension. This is where I go to. And it tells me, you know, it came out of the adobe.com site. So I went looking for it. And here we go. So how you like this? Real time. I'm looking for this just like you would probably say, well, what did they use? They used the adobe.com. So that's an extension NS. If you go to the page, yeah, I figured. So you got to go, you know, you can't go into his file, but you can go into the program. Let's just do that. And I'm going to show you this program. It's kind of a neat free program if you're looking into making clones. But it shows you right out the bat. It's a free trial copy of it. But you can go in and cut out, like, you know, anything. Do it all in Adobe Creative Cloud. So the picture's on the cloud and he brought it into, you know. And whoever did this, uh, good try, but that's not what we're about. Um, I'm going to check out this program, not that I'm going to make clones, but they're just showing you one. It's called Firefly, I think. They're going to show you one aspect of it. So just so you know, I'm on my watch, guys, watching for fake stuff, too, because I don't want to show people fake stuff. Anyways, um... That's what, you know, I'm a truth seeker. I want to even see true pictures. I love cell phone pictures that are from like an 82-year-old grandma that don't know what she's looking at. And it happens to be, you know, UFO or Cloud or Planet X or Two Suns. Those are the pictures I'm looking for. But here you go. Just the analyzes everything. And, you know, the little square envelope gives it away. Um, there's a way they could have done it where it's right up to the edge. But the problem is he took one picture of it and then he cloned it and put it in a format across the page. And the cloning device really detected it. Um, that's why they all look the same. I love this cloning device, but now the noise really tells it. Look at the noise. You can see the edges. I hope I'm not doing it too fast. You can see the square edges. The noise is different than the other noise. See how, how different background so it might have been a real UFO picture, um, I'm suspecting, from another sighting, which is okay. It could be a real one from another one, but to do this is just that, you know, there's enough fake news out there, guys. I don't want to contribute to it, but see the difference in the noise? It's colorful and all that. If it was the power from the object, they should have never cut it out like that. They should have brought it right up to the edge so it looks like the same noise in the sky. Anyways, when you magnify it, they look beautiful. They're, they're definitely clones. So they were cloned. Gotta go. Drink that coffee. Go mow the lawn. Bye.